Hi there, my name's Hannah, I'm an ecologist and I'm currently in a really spectacular piece of roast pasture at Chalicum Farm on Dartmoor. Roast in Welsh means wet, so it's a wet pasture. So this is one particular type of roast pasture. It's quite a variable kind of overarching term, I suppose, for lots of different wet communities that you'll find on Dartmoor. Roast pastures are great because they absorb water. So if you have a particularly dry summer, then this site will retain its wetness and so it'll be a great place for animals to come and graze. It's great as a carbon sink, very, very diverse. So here I've got common cotton grass and you can see that there's lots of different flower heads that all kind of accumulate at the top of the stem. We've got some common sedge here, which has a really compact little flower head and also surrounded by bog pimpernel, round-leaved sundew, and there's some bulbous rush, and the really very beautiful bog asphodel there on my left. Here I also have several other sedges other than common sedge. I've got flea sedge here, which has these utricles, which are the kind of nutlets, I suppose, that you find on a sedge, which are all downturned. And it's called flea sedge because when you run your finger up the stem, all of the utricles fly off like little fleas. In addition to flea sedge, I've also got star sedge, which has really quite sweet looking flowers. The utricles are really pointy and they point out in different directions, so, so they look like stars. What else have we got? Some devil's bit scabious, which is just in leaf. It's quite a late flowerer, so wouldn't expect to find that in flower till like September time. It's got a classic kind of scabious flower which is um, quite nicely deep purple. Here we've got some lesser spearwort which is in the buttercup family. It's quite a delicate looking buttercup. The flower heads are, are slightly more pretty and delicate than um, meadow and creeping buttercup and the leaves are ever so slightly different too in that they're quite strap shaped unlike the other two species and this is really characteristic of wet places you don't tend to find it in, um, in a dry location. We've also got this which is cross-leaved heath. This is a species that you find in wet acid sites and actually when you have a lot of this it's a characteristic of wet heath which is a really important habitat which you really don't find anymore in the UK and perhaps even on a European scale so having a lot of this on a site is a really good thing and it's really quite sweet with its pale bell-shaped flowers and it's characteristic and it's got quite hairy leaves and the leaves are in whorls of four on the stem so that's quite a key feature really. One species that you're very likely to find in roast pasture um, on Dartmoor is purple moor grass or millinia uh, which is a very densely um, tussock forming species. You can also get lots of different rushes in roast pasture so soft rush which is quite a clump forming rush but also sharp flowered rush and jointed rush, which are rushes that actually when you run your finger up the, the leaf, you'll feel joints in the leaf. So they're jointed rushes and they can be a really good positive indicator as well. So a huge number of different species here. This particular area of um, roast pasture supports marsh fritillary butterflies. So it's got a huge importance level, I suppose, not only for wildlife, but also for us, because it provides those great services, cleans water, holds water, and sequesters carbon. 